But what an interesting timeline we're in, ladies and gentlemen, and it's only the 4th of January. It seems like this is a sign of things to come, right? In this video, I have a lot to discuss. Firstly, the online beef, let's call it, between Jimmy Kimmel and Aaron Rodgers, all due to the Epstein documents that were set to be released. They have now obviously been released, and I'll touch on that later on in this video. But Aaron Rodgers caused Jimmy Kimmel to have a little touchy meltdown on social media after he spoke about the Epstein list on a show with Pat McAfee and said a lot of people are hoping this list doesn't get released, including Jimmy Kimmel. Now, he says this because previously on another show, Jimmy Kimmel's show, he had actually mocked Aaron Rodgers for even speaking about the Epstein list because how dare anybody speak about it, right? If you speak about such a thing, you're a conspiracy theorist, you're a nut job, etc., etc., the classic word. So what I'll do is I'll play the clip of Jimmy Kimmel mocking Aaron Rodgers on his show, then play the clip of Aaron Rodgers speaking about Jimmy Kimmel on the show with Pat McAfee saying people like Jimmy Kimmel are hoping the list doesn't get released. Take a watch. Let's just say all this UFO talk has the tinfoil hatters going wild, including Green Bay whack packer Aaron Rodgers, who offered this hot take on the Pat McAfee show. I, I believe that this has been going on for a long time. It's interesting uh, timing on everything. There's a lot of other things going on in the world. Did you hear about the Epstein client list uh, about to be released too? What's that? What are you talking about? There's some files that have, have some names on it that might be uh, getting released pretty soon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> might be time to revisit that concussion protocol, Aaron. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bring it up. Bring it up, Foxy or somebody back Seats there. Seats on it. You have Super Bowl 58. You'll see it. The emblem. Put it on the screen. And then bring up 57 and 56. Does that have something to do with the Epstein list that came out? <laughs> Feels like, <laughs> feels like that's it. supposed to be coming out soon. That's supposed to be coming out. Soon. Look, this guy's been There's waiting in his wine people. cellar. Yeah. I've been waiting in my wine <laughs> cellar for this <laughs> thing. A lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't. Ah, happen. Geez, please. Please. <laughs> All right. All right. Obviously, a clip from this particular program was run on Jimmy Kimmel's show. Uh, whenever Aaron brought up the the list, and then. Jimmy mocked him for it. Mm -hmm. Aaron has not forgotten about that, but here we are sitting right in front of that nice bottle of scotch. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I'm waiting to celebrate something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Something <laughs> He's awesome. been waiting That's for the that. That's the one. <laughs> You've been waiting for hey, I'll tell you what. If that list comes out, I definitely will be popping popping some sort of bottle. Hey, we've called for it for a few years now. Yeah, interesting to say the least, right? It's so weird to see these celebrities beef with different people online over these whole stories. But uh, let's just be real here. Every top celebrity in Hollywood is underneath the microscope when it comes to this situation, right? Because of how deep it all goes. And until we get more and more information, which everybody deserves to know about, until we get more information as to who went and who didn't, this is always going to be a thing. And Jimmy Kimmel has come underneath the spotlight before with this whole situation, not only because obviously being a part of Hollywood, but because his very good friend, Adam Perry Lang, was also Jeffrey Epstein's private chef once upon a time. And an article that was posted in 2020 goes on to say the following, a celebrity chef has been quizzed by detectives 20 years after he worked for Jeffrey Epstein, prompting renewed calls for Prince Andrew to speak to the FBI. Adam Perry Lang, 51, opened the barbecue restaurant with Jamie Oliver in London in 2010 and worked for Jeffrey Epstein between 1999 and 2003. He is now fully cooperating with the FBI investigation into allegations of sexual abuse by depraved billionaire Epstein, according to a new podcast, Broken Seeking Justice. So you can see why people made the connections. I think it's the only normal thing to do, right? Especially when it's somebody like Epstein who has connections to highly influential people. When you see a chef who has been his private chef and then you have a celebrity who was best friends with that chef, people are always going to make the connection. And because Aaron Rodgers mentioned Jimmy Kimmel and said he's hoping the list doesn't come out, Jimmy Kimmel posted this on X. Dear arsehole, for the record, I've not met, flown with, visited, or had any contact whatsoever with Epstein, nor will you find my name on any list other than the clearly phony nonsense that soft brain wackos like yourself can't seem to distinguish from reality. Your reckless words put my family in danger, keep it up, and we will debate the facts further in court at Aaron Rodgers 12. And the replies to that tweet, as you can probably imagine, hasn't gone in Jimmy Kimmel's favor. He was probably hoping for maybe a lot of support. Wow, go Jimmy, but no, it's gone in the opposite direction. And as I've said earlier, the documents have been released and Jimmy Kimmel's name isn't mentioned. In fact, a lot of people's names aren't really mentioned. We did get three big names, however, from Prince Andrew, obviously, to 
Bill Clinton and Stephen Hawking. Now, this is the larger part of the video, so sit back and relax or whatever for this one, get a drink or something, because I'm going to be reading this article from Sky News that goes into a lot of detail. Jeffrey Epstein documents latest Stephen Hawking and others named in court papers list isn't what some expected. Hundreds of pages of court documents relating to the late financer and Jeffrey Epstein, his relationship to Ghislaine Maxwell and alleged victims of sexual abuse have been released. Epstein said Bill Clinton likes them young, accuser claims in court documents. Wow. Jeffrey Epstein once told one of his alleged victims that Bill Clinton likes them young, according to the unsealed documents. Joanna Soberg, who claims she was forced to perform sex acts on Epstein, said the pair had discussed the former US president one time. In a deposition taken under oath in May 2016, she said Epstein had told her Clinton likes them young, referring to girls. Mr. Clinton is mentioned several times elsewhere in the documents, though there is no indication of doing by him. His spokesperson said in 2019 that although Mr. Clinton knew Epstein and had used his private jet, he was unaware of Epstein's crimes and denied claims the former president had visited the finances private island. In the deposition, Ms. Soberg was asked, do you know if Bill Clinton was a friend of Jeffrey Epstein? She replied, I knew he had dealings with Bill Clinton. I did not know they were friends until I read the Vanity Fair article about them going to Africa together. Oh boy, that doesn't look good. What? Soever, and there's going to be questions around Bill Clinton and Jeffrey Epstein, what really happened there. I imagine Hillary is conjuring up a plan as we speak. Soberg claims Dufre groped with Prince Andrew Puppet. During her testimony in the 2015 defamation case against Ghislaine Maxwell, Joanna Soberg claimed she saw Virginia Dufre being touched with a puppet of Prince Andrew. While in Manhattan in 2001, Miss Soberg said Maxwell called her to an upstairs closet where there was a puppet of the Duke of York which was made for a BBC program. It looked like him, she said, and she brought it down and presented it to him and that was a great joke because apparently it was a production from a show on BBC and they decided to take a picture with it in which Virginia and Andrew sat on a couch. They put the puppet on Virginia's lap and I sat on Andrew's lap and they put the puppet's hand on Virginia's breast and Andrew put his hand on my breast and they took a photo. What the f Stephen Hawking mentioned by Epstein in email. Jeffrey Epstein mentioned astrophysicist Stephen Hawking in a reward email to Ghislaine Maxwell. He said false allegations had been made including one he described as the new version in the Virgin Islands that Stephen Hawking participated in an underage what? Yeah, again, what the f Mr. Hawking was photographed on Epstein's Island in March 2006 as part of a trip to a science conference on neighboring island St. Thomas. The conference was paid for by Epstein and 20 other scientists attended. So yeah, Stephen Hawking visited Epstein's Island, make of that what you will. Mr. Hawking was photographed on Epstein's Island in March 2006 as part of a trip to a science conference on neighboring island St. Thomas. The conference was paid for by Epstein and 20 other scientists attended. So a lot to digest there, right? And I appreciate if you guys are still here at the end of this video there were some big parts in there obviously the part about bill clinton allegedly liking girls that were of a younger age and the prince andrew puppet situation mate what is going on but this information as i said in my previous video because it was predictable isn't going to do too much in the grand scheme of things it only puts people we know about back in the spotlight like prince andrew and if i'm honest i don't think the information people want and want and what they want to know about ever gets released at all. There are too many powerful people involved and they have the power to keep it under wraps for a very, very long time. But leave your thoughts down below on this. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on the documents that got released? What are your thoughts on Jimmy Kimmel and Aaron Rodgers beefing? I'd like to know. If you have enjoyed today, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, comment on this video, share this video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day. Stay safe and I'm out. Peace.